Alright everyone, it's me again, and welcome back to Outlast, a whistleblower. Uh, this could possibly be the final episode, because I am at the endgame area. So, if I remember this part, it's super stressful. It's like, have fun dealing with Eddie. Okay, yep, get a little bit of distance. Uh, from yourself, from Eddie, from doing that. This, oh, this part is very stressful. I might just use my trackpad on this laptop. Because I, because I trust it more. Okay, I do not like this character. He's an interesting villain and all, but he's very stressful to deal with. Alright, if I remember correctly, go through here... Yep, alright, he's getting way too close for comfort. Leave me alone, Eddie. Alright, you can die if you hold forward too much. I have died on insane mode from doing that. I was not happy at all. But yeah, that's that area. Very stressful, as I said. Now we're back up here. Lag is starting to happen, which I see a trend. Normally, in the beginning of the episodes, there's a little bit of lag. Oh, well. Okay, we need the key, and the key is this way. Can I have a battery, please? Alright, so this is like super endgame stuff. I think I can beat this within the next, like, 10-15 minutes. That's how much there is left. Hello, friend. You enjoy you. Oh, so yeah, this happens. Which was, uh, quite shocking the first time through. I was not expecting all this. This game just wants to shock you every moment. He, he's not spawned. He, you can just hear him talking. See, if you look behind you, he's not there. He only spawns once you grab this key. I don't want your children. This entire time, I've been against it. You know what I'll do? Hold on, watch this trick. Oh, okay, that happened. I was going to try to juke him out. Oh, wow, he's fast. I, I forgot about him being that fast. Uh, this is not good. Okay, hi, uh, hey, Eddie. Uh, oh, okay, he's super close. Oh, okay, good. Jump, get up, get up, get up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the second, that's, oh, that's not the second, but that's one of the more stressful parts. But hey, that was, I think that's almost the end of Eddie for us. Uh, yep, get rid of that, and the key! And the flag! I love being beaten in two frames per second. I tried, and I tried, you all betrayed me. You can hang like the rest of them. Wow, look how many thumbnails you can make from this. I'm not gonna let that joke down. He knew what he did. He knew what he did. Right. No thanks. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine our anniversary. Yeah, our anniversary would be me trying to give you a second circumcision. No, you best let me down, or else you're gonna regret it. Hold still. God damn it, what are you. Oh, damn it, darling. No, you need to behave. Now you're just gonna have to uh, spin the uh, mouse or the trackpad, and, and then that part is pr pretty easy. We could have. 
been beautiful. No, we couldn't have. Not in a million years. Not in any, not in any circumstance would we. I think you're better looking on that pole. And now we have full control again. And that's the end of Eddie. I think there's a note. I don't remember. Yeah. But, yeah, you know what? I'll read... This is the only note I'll ever read in the entire game. I will read it. Um... A widower. He's dead. The amateur surgeon. Father-to-be husband. His gut shred, uh, shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, God, Lisa. I swear to you, I'm trying. Jake Paul's try not to laugh challenge. Next meme. This is probably one of the more interesting parts of the game, even though we have no more threats to deal with. I just enjoy it. Loading. Loading is the more interesting part of the game, yep. Even though I cut out most of the loading in this game, or when I was recording, but heck yeah. And as you can see out there, the burning uh, church area. If you haven't played the uh, main game, okay, things froze. Hold on, there we go. So basically, if you haven't uh, played the first or the main game, uh, Father Martin, the one that we saw earlier, with the um, writing the blood on the wall, he l lights himself on fire. Also, this is very satisfying just to see Doctor Traeger dead. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. And not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to I love that line for some reason. It's just the way he's talking about it. Yeah, I've seen enough. I mean, I'd be I'd be good seeing just a little bit less, but you know, the tiniest bit is good. That's what that sounds like a little bit. Um, we go this way. Oh yeah, these guys can't hurt you, by the way, no matter what. Which is kind of disappointing, because it'd be cool to try to dodge all these guys. Yeah, this is the elevator that uh, Miles used to escape Traeger, and ended up killing him in the process. And now we can run again. His leg is feeling good enough. Get a little bit more of that AIDS on me. Right down there is the exit. We can finally leave. Yeah, well, how are you dead? Uh, help me up, please. Look at this stupid looking face. <laughs> See, no matter what we do, Park Parker still is like no somehow no. cheating death here. No one. Heck yeah. Thank you, Wall Rider. You're welcome, child. Just stay in school and don't do drugs, and I won't kill you. Alright, Wall Rider. Goodbye, child. So yeah, by the way, we have all his blood over me. We have an open wound with more blood in us. I think we're gonna die of some kind of disease. That's great. Also, look at that leg. Look at that. Why do I find this so interesting that they modeled everything? Like, look at that. 
Let me crawl on you. Look, haha, ha, my hand is now on your face. Look who's dead. Not me, it's you. Time to escape into the sunset. Come on, you can make your way over there. Just keep limping. Somehow vaulting over things doesn't hurt him in this condition. Let's just take Miles' car. Speaking of Miles, there he is. And if you look closely, you can see the wall rider for a couple seconds. You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Good. Everyone you love is fucked. I mean, I'm already probably going to die of like several diseases it's from what I went through. Worth that much to you. Yes, my life doesn't mean much at this point either. I think I have a, a, a hepatitis A through Z. And heck yeah, I'm gonna like just punch the mouse and press it. That fell off my desk instead of hitting the mouse button. All right, there we go. And roll the credits. But I'm gonna have to turn down the credits because last time when I uploaded the Outlast series, I got a copyright strike for the credits. Yeah! As much as I would love to show the credits, I kind of don't want to get another copyright strike. So, let's just continue on. Here's my thoughts on the game. It's really good. Buy it. Well, other than that, to be honest, uh, it still is another jump scare fest if you're into that kind of stuff. It was okay for uh, like a ha an hour and a half DLC for like a first run through. Maybe even like three hours for a first run through. But other than that, yeah, I'd recommend it. The story's pretty good. It has a good continuation of what happened, and it shows another side of the story that you would have not thought of. Like, who would have thought you'd get to play as the whistleblower himself? The one who told Miles. Well, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I might make one more video for the rest of the year. Or, until summer. Basically, what's going on is I'm going to be making... Uh, so, basically, there's an announcement that's going to be up on, like, next month, on the 14th saying that I'm taking a break from recording for the summer, mainly because I can't record anything nor edit, because I won't be using a laptop at the time. So I pre-recorded a couple videos, that's why you didn't see many videos in March, I believe. So yeah, that's that reasoning behind it, and I have a couple other videos I have to edit, but I might record one last video before September. But other than that, they're all edited, pre-made, or pre-recorded. So other than that, thank you for watching, I hope you like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.